What on earth are you using to clean up this beach? No, basically we're using trash to clean up trash. State of the art, super efficiency. We were looking for a paradise. Just sea, sand, and peacefulness. A beach. They didn't exist. They were either full of tourists or they're full of trash. Fake environments, that's what we found. <laughs> we found fat tourists and uh, a five-star hotels. It's like being on a safari. So you're looking for the wild, but the actual wild has been domesticated. So instead of living an experience, you're like consuming an experience and then throwing out the wrapper to be washed up on some beach. So we decided to get out of there and go find a place where we could just kind of be in the wild and do some training and eat and just be out of the loop for a bit. Uh, and we, we found our beach at last. Beautiful, unfortunately full of trash. So we had two options. One was keep going, the second one was to clean it up. Yeah, we said, let's just clean it up. Instead of searching for this thing that we want, we'll just make it. Hopefully we'll learn a good lesson here. Yeah, well, let me know if you figure it out. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're the best. It's better not be spicy, you know? Trash in my mouth. You alright? No. Oh, you got stabbed. Some of the foot. Oh. Let's see if there's any blood on this. So. All right, false alarm, folks. All right, back to the job. <laughs> and well, we tried our best. Now we just want to be out here. We test our capacities. See where we can go. Now we get to build this this wild sanctuary that we had talked about. We get to reuse a lot of this wasted space and wasted material. And the food is awesome. The food is great. And when you really need it at the end of the day, food is the best. Rice on the menu. That's it. 
some veggies, no sugar for the last five days. You've outdone yourself this time, Captain. Hell yeah. In the city, this doesn't happen. You have any options available. You have fun, you have food, you have your routine, you have the gym, you have the work that you have to do, the friends you want to see. Everything is handy. Yeah, you get soft. Sneak attack interview from Guglielmo. What are you doing in this man's bathroom? <laughs> now you're crossing the line. <laughs> I think we, this man left me. <laughs> this man, his friend, uh, doesn't like us to stink. So invite us first for breakfast this morning and now for dinner. But not only give us food. But also, give us a shower. After, I don't know, four days? And this is pretty fantastic. Right? <laughs> it's clean. It seems clean. Soap everywhere. Um, we found a family here that adopted us. And uh, it's been just bombarding us with food and drink and good times. Again, no English. They don't just figured it out. It's really wild. Like, like they think we're the, the poor people because <laughs> we're, we're living on a beach, picking up trash. <laughs> hey, here he is, Mr. Viet. Hey, Viet. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna be in for a treat. It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah. Look how beautifully black is that thing. <laughs> so, our fresh out of all the pile of trash that we've accumulated on the fire. Nice clean solution. <laughs> Oh yeah, and, and the island was forbidden to tourists. Alright, so this is our military escort out of Binh Hung. Lucky us. Lucky fucking us. So yes, we managed to be kicked out from our Paradise Island. What an ending for a cookbook. <laughs> This is historic, my friends. Never done that. So, check. Check. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>